Let's create our own AI assistant. OpenAI released a new API that allows us to create our own AI assistant. They even mentioned that we could monetize it somehow later in the future, but let's not worry about that. Let's just create one and see what happens. Let's start with just the basics. The OpenAI Assistance API actually solves quite a lot of the rough edges that you have to deal with when you're working with the OpenAI and any other ML or AI LLM model. Context size is too small, so you have to slice things up and then take chunks of documents and sort order by vector relevance, which documents match. Also, what are the baseline instructions that the AI should follow when it provides answers? And to get better results, what you do is something called, what is that called again? I guess in this case, it's just called prompting. I thought there would be, I thought it was something more fancy. Is it prompt engineering? Generally a series of inputs and outputs. You provide ans uh, a question and then the answer, a question and the answer. And you do that over a few times and you can get more higher quality results. The Assistance API also allows us to bring in some custom functions that the AI will ask us to invoke. We're gonna keep things simple today when we create our first AI Assistant. All right, I'm all set up to be able to create our first AI, our custom AI Assistant using OpenAI's new Assistance API. They make it really easy to use their UI to generate uh, your own custom AI. Let's do it, let's get started, let's give it a try. I'm going to create my first one. Since we're keeping it simple, we're gonna to have it only be able to be very good at one particular task. PubNub MQTT expert. You are a software engineer. Let me just say I got Python. You'll write code that we can copy paste into a Python script file that we can run locally on our laptop. Oh, say computer, there we go. Then we'll choose the preview model and we'll also add very basic, we wanna do file retrieval. What this allows us to do is upload a file. Right now it only supports text-based files. And this is important because it provides extra details about the instructions that's gonna make it successful with this objective. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to go to our documentation page and I'm gonna print and save this as a file. All right, now I'm gonna add our PDF file. All right, we're all set to go. I have uploaded the file, it has the null Knowledge that it needs. So we'll click save and see where we go from here. All right, we got an assistant that was created. Let's see what we'd have. Well, what do we get? Oh, okay. Ah, I see. All right, so now we have our assistant ID here, which we can use for creating new interactions with the assistant. We can go straight in and test it using their test tool. All right, we created our own assistant using OpenAI's UI, which was really straightforward and simple to get just the baseline set up. And what we'll do next is we'll test it out. And they make that really easy by giving us this nice little test button which is going to open up the playground and it's going to give us this really straightforward UI which is a, a pretty standard UI and then let's give it a try. So I want to write, I want to try out PubNet MQTT. Can you write me an example to run on my computer locally? All right. So we've got two options here, add or run. And so you can add more inputs from a user. You can say add, 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 and then eventually run. And in that case, uh, I don't need to add any more data at this point. So I'm just going to click add and run. Let's see what happens. So at the time of me uh, recording this, we have a situation where it won't provide everything. Like for example, you're used to that typing effect where it gave you all the, they said it currently is not available, but they're working on adding that. All right, it came back. It has, it has the response that was, that was pretty straightforward. Uh, it, it took a little while. It had a loading indicator, which was nice. Uh, it didn't have the typing effect. However, uh, it did come back with the exact response that I was looking for. It used the instructions that I provided it in the PDF. I'm pretty sure I want to confirm that it did. Let's find out really quick. There's this handy logs input here. Okay, zooming in, it gives us the ability to check out the final response, the final fetch of the result from the AI. And it says here that it did pull the file Right here, we can see it pulled the file. It used the tool, the retrieval tool. Okay, and it gives me instructions. It tells me how to run it on my local system. It also says that I need to supply these details here. Otherwise, it should just work as as a advertise. Let's let's take a quick peek here. Okay, so I've installed the the dependency and I've copied the file. All right, now let's see if it works. Let's try it out. Python test.py. Okay, look, I connected up to the uh, MQTT server. It said hello and it received the message and then disconnected. It worked. So I know this is very simple and straightforward. I just created a, a an assistant, an AI system that performs an, one specific task and it did it really, really well.
It's also great that it provided instructions on how to find the API keys in the dashboard so that way I could use them when connecting up to the MQTT broker. So this is pretty satisfying. I was essentially able to create an expert that was able to like answer questions and also perform tasks for me, including writing code that's dedicated and specific to my business. You can imagine all sorts of fun different things that you could build using this approach. And it goes even further because this was only the beginning. There are a lot of other features and capabilities to, including a code interpreter and there also is an ability to upload and generate your own functions so the AI will be able to ask questions and get answers from you and your computer or your server using a specific format so it can retrieve even more data or it can run specific tasks for aggregation or SQL queries and it can pull data from other systems so you can create whole workflows with this this is really powerful and while you could do this before they've streamlined it using this assistance API 